Hello and welcome to uh, an exciting tutorial. It's me, Sansar Tripathi. So today I'm going to teach you how to create a bullet scene uh, in Maya and render using V-Ray. So let's get started. Here I am in Maya. Uh, let's me let's go to front view and create our bullet. For that, go to Create Bezier Curve Tool. If you don't have uh, if you're using older versions of Maya then you may not have Bezier Curve tool. I'm using Maya 2012. I think it's in 11 as well but uh, it's not in Maya 2010. So don't be worried. You can use CV or EP Curve tool. Whatever you feel easy with. So for now I'm going to use Bezier Curve tool and going to give a shape for our bullet. So click here like this. Add, press shift key and do that. Um, so when you are done, press press the W key. Uh, it's quite good, but let us make some adjustment. Select all these parts, move it aside. This one a little bit okay, like this. Press the R key to do the selection. Uh, sorry, scale tool. Move it a little bit inward. I think it's all right. Now, with this selected, go to uh, surface, surface, and revolve. So here we are. Go to channel box, revolve, and you see pivot x is zero. So it's all right. So let us go to perspective and press 5 to look at the settings. Um, it's alright you got this black spots like this but we're going to convert it to polygon so don't be worried. But before that select these two, go to edit, delete all by type, history. And then select the um, blade, press shift, select both and then you select the curve then press delete key now select your bullet go to modify convert nerves to polygon to the option um, be sure to put it in control points and apply close it just move it aside select this delete it and now select the bullet press the 3 key so you get exact uh, it's a little bit different so you can just make some adjustments uh, since uh, this tutorial is going to teach you more on V-Ray, so I will not go in detail for the molding part. So I'll just do the basic molding techniques. Just teach you how to, just give you a few ideas on how to mold it. Uh, you can go ahead, uh, sorry, let me undo it. Okay. I have some problem over here. Good. Just make a few adjustments. Mm, mm, go to Aces. Uh, double click it. Outside one as well. This one. Go to scale it. Just scale it and push it a little bit up. Select this, push it a little bit up. Oh, I need to scale, I think I need to scale this a little more. I'm sorry, these are not being selected. R, scale it a little bit down. So here we go. Uh, our bullet is almost ready, just make a few adjustments. I think it's alright. So um, just go ahead and uh, take some reference of bullets and do a few m modeling uh, let me make a little bit adjustment over here w move it downward it's all right okay no problem for that uh, just m try to model it as best as you can for now let it be like this uh, just let me extrude a little bit 
down part so we are going to put uh, the silver part over there oh, sorry okay now let me go to polygon edit mesh and extrude it oh, so that, oops, sorry I think I should do this way so it's alright press the G key to do the extrusion again this one a little bit more and press it inward okay press G once again and then press it inward so it will make you go inside okay now let's just go ahead for modeling uh, sorry rendering part uh, select the blade um, move it up just in this line okay it's alright and then just uh, load your V-Ray plugin if not um, for that go to window setting and preferences plugin manager and down there you'll see V-Ray for Maya just load auto load um, and then go to create V-Ray create V-Ray plane so it will create a plane uh, select the plane go to attribute editor initial setting group Lambert and choose the color to white it's alright so now it's time for us to create our material for blade so for that go to window rendering editors hypershade um, here we are in hypershade let me move them move a little bit side so now we're going to create a V-Ray material here it is just select a bullet and assign a material to it now let us double click this material and adjust a few settings over here for the diffuse color put the color you want to put for your bullet uh, for golden color just go ahead with kind of this kind of color I think it will give it good if not then you can come back again and change it uh, whenever you like just let us rename this material bullet gold uh, and uh, for the reflection go to Pong and for the reflection color let me just go to kind of grays mm, uh, just check reflect on backside uh, that's it for I think that will do for our material let's go ahead and do a quick test render so be sure to change your uh, rendering engine to V-Ray and do again render it out again. Uh, sorry, I forgot to smooth our bullet. So let us do that. Press one key, go to mesh smooth. Once again, mesh smooth. So that will give you smoother looking bullet. And go ahead and see our render. So here it is. Uh, it's all right. Uh, we don't have any reflection now, so we are going to create that. Let's go to rendering settings and in V-Ray, uh, V-Ray command tab. Let me put this to 320 by 240, uh, but uh, you can just put to 640 by 480. And for the output, you can also select to higher resolutions. But for now, for the just for the preview purpose, I'm going to do a small one. Let's go to V-Ray tab global option uh, it's global max check on global max depth and then image sampler to adaptive adaptive DMC uh, lock threshold to DMC sampler threshold and the for the most important part we are in the environment so this is where we are going to create our reflection so just check an override environment and then for G-ray texture go to full, full white and then for the reflection texture we are going to use an HDRI map so click on the checker box go to file load a file from your attribute editor and I'm going to use set studio setup O to HDRI map so you don't need to worry to get this HDRI map you can use any reflection HDRI maps you have or even any room HDRI maps or anything else 
so for now I'm going to use this open it so it's on there mm. then go to indirect elimination tab and then GI on a reflective caustics on and ambient occlusion on so uh, for this uh, scene pretty much uh, the default settings will do good if not you can just go ahead and play around with some settings mm. if you want to know the uh, full detail about all these settings then you can go ahead and look out for basic tutorials for V-Ray um, I don't have much time so I can't explain all those I'm sorry but I will try to do some tutorials on explaining all these settings as well so go to render elements add our reflection and refraction and let's go ahead and do one quick uh, preview um, it's pretty slow cause because of the reflection so you see there are some reflections in our bullet so you see the path over here is black so for that you can choose your angle so alright go ahead and do another render uh, no need to be ready for that you can uh, later on go to photoshop and uh, just paint that part so you have already started seeing the reflection over here so now it's time for us to create the silver looking texture for this below part uh, I think there are lots of faces going on over here so I'll just give a quick overview for that let me go to Ace I'll just do silver to these parts select this uh, sorry uh, shift and then control to faces oh sorry control is ring utility to is ring so you select round and then again control click uh, it's uh, right click two faces two faces so here we go and for this just let me add a fong material and then go to the fong option and change the color to kind of a whitish so it's alright now go to object mode and just duplicate our bullet uh, for several different parts uh, like you see in this uh, some tilted down some overlap some stand up so you can do like that uh, let me do a few control D to duplicate it E to rotate it go ahead in front view and mix few adjustments go ahead and duplicate this as well E just rotate this in this way go ahead manage it a little bit downwards so in this way you can do m uh, many as many as you like and go ahead and do render so here we are uh, we are almost getting the final result mm. so here it is and for the black part you can just crop it out in photoshop or just paint that part and uh, let me show you one thing else uh, if you see in this image uh, you see this uh, last part are quite blurred so when you put bullet uh, just uh, more over to this point just in photoshop what you do is take the blur tool and just blur out those parts so it will uh, give um, good depth so i think uh, this tutorial was helpful for you so i'm sansar tripathi and just uh, look forward for my more tutorials i'll do it in future i i hope this tutorial was helpful for you okay thank you for now bye bye